Hey, Kevin. What is that? A big green monster over there? <laughs> it is a monster, I'll tell you. Uh, the nice guys over at Everlast sent me their brand new Power TIG 255 TIG welder. So the first thing you find when you open the box is the manual. And it's actually written in English. Uh, done by a welder who works for the company who uh, tests the prototype units and actually writes the manual for the unit while he's got it sitting right there on the bench. Nice, 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 nice. It's got a function section in here that actually goes into detail of what all the different functions of the machine are, how they work, why they work, you know, why you should use this function over that function. Very, very good. Read this when you get it. Standard on the equipment, or standard on the unit, a 25-foot water-cooled 20F TIG torch and a 25-foot air-cooled 9F TIG torch. Comes standard with the machine. Sorry, cooler's not included. You know, and then a, 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 you know, a really nice, nice heavy-duty ground clamp and a good foot pedal, a regulator, you know, flow meter for, the, for your argon bottle. You know, and some consumables that come with the machine. Yeah, I like this. This is good. So, come here, let me show you around the front. So, in the upper corner of the panel right here, this is actually their memory section. You can have nine different preset parameters in this machine. You know, if you're working on eighth inch steel, quarter inch steel, if you're working on stainless, copper, whatever, you can set it all up right here and just go to whatever number the preset is, and all your parameters are all set up for you. You don't have to mess with all the other functions on it. You just go to whatever number you've got a preset as, get to work. So this is an easy setup panel right here. You've got your normal setup where you go through and set all your different parameters. And then you've got an AC and a DC easy setup, which most of the parameters are set for you. You just adjust your amperage and go from there. This is your digital control panel, if you will. When you turn the machine on, you get different lights that come up depending on which, what, you know, where, what you select with the select button. Uh, your amperage, you know, all, of the, or all of these different functions in here are all adjusted with this one control knob. One of the nice little functions with this knob is if you just turn the knob, one click at a time, it goes up or down one number at a time. If you push in and turn, it goes ten numbers at a time. Makes it a lot easier to get from you know a low low amperage to high amperage, high amperage down again. You can jump ten numbers at a time, really really fast, really easy. This is your high frequency or lift start or stick modes, all right in here. This is your uh, stick welding parameters, or you know your uh, arc force, hot start uh, time, and hot start amperage. Yeah, it has a stick welder built into it, just like most of the TIGs do nowadays. Up here is your TIG pulse controls, off and standard AC or DC, and then advanced AC. You have your 2T, 4T. Or, or pedal selector section right here. And this is something new. I haven't had a chance to really play with this one yet. But this is your AC waveform section. This machine actually has four different waveforms for AC. Both square wave, advanced square wave, triangular, and sine wave. That's going to be fun to play with. I've, I've never had the option to have the different sine waves like that, so I'll get out some aluminum scrap and you know spend a, an hour or two playing with it just to figure out how that all works. So that's just the control panel, and you got your ground and your gas connector, you know, control your trigger control or your pedal control depending on what you've got in, and then your torch connection for your TIG welder, and of course they're switched. You know, when you're doing your stick welder, your ground goes on the negative, your stick welder goes on the positive. So that's just the front of the machine. And then on the back of the machine, you've just got your 
you, you've got your gas inlet for your argon, you know, the power cable, uh, a circuit breaker style on off switch on the back. And then really nice, they have a 220, uh, 220 volt, two prong outlet on the back of it. So you can just hook your water cooler up. You know, put it on the cart, run your plug up, plug it right in here, leave your water cooler turned on all the time. That way when you turn your TIG welder on or off, it'll turn your water cooler on off at the same time, so you don't want to burn it up the torch. Nice. Now, problems with this machine. I have found two of them so far. One of them is this gas connection. On the back of the machine, they put it right in the middle of the machine. So when you try to center it on your cart, your hose winds up right into the bottom. So you either kink the hose, or you have to move the machine forward enough to keep the hose clear, that now the welder is actually off the shelf on the front of the cart. If they can move that over a little, that would be awesome. Or I'll just run down and get a little 90 degree fitting to go in the back of it, and that way I can put my hose in from the side, and that'll help shrink that up a little bit. And the other problem that I've noticed is kind of loud. You know, the fan's kind of loud. Yeah, it's a machine. It's supposed to be working. Uh, I did talk to one of the engineers. Or I talked to him about this fan issue a little bit, and he said, well, we have to put the fan on the back of the machine to be able to pull that outside air in and get it right to the heat sink inside the welder because that's the hottest part. That's the part we got to cool the quickest. And that actually increases the duty cycle on the machine quite a bit. And speaking of duty cycle, 60% at 250 amps, 100% at 200 amps. So yeah, that big fan in the back, it's important. You know, it, it, it's doing its job, it's doing a good job. So a really, really stout machine. Got a lot of functions in it. A lot of variables that you can use. You, know, you can either let the machine decide for you, or you got the variables there, so you can adjust it specifically for your job, your weld, your joint, you know, right at the moment, whether you're working inside, outside, whatever it is that you're doing with it. A lot of functionality. I, I, I like that in the machine. Yeah, next time we'll go ahead and fire it up. Uh, you know, we'll run some low amps, you know, down about five amps or so with the air-cooled torch, and then we'll put the water cooled in it, Crank that puppy up. Let's get after a piece of half inch or something and you know, see what it can do. And on a personal note, may I say thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a great year. We've had a lot of fun with all the different videos we've made, showing you new machinery, you know, showing you what I'm doing here in the shop. It's been a pleasure talking with you all. Happy holidays. Have a safe and happy new year. We're going to take next week off. We'll see you in the new year.